Hi, Alan Papaleo here for Jatai International. I'll now demonstrate a layered haircut for you, something you do every single day in the salon. One side will be done with the feather razor, the other side will be done with the switchblade shear. You can see on the pre-done mannequin the difference, the texture, the heavier side, still layered, but still very, very beautiful. So you'll see some fun ways of using the razor as opposed to the shear in this, and I think you'll take it home and do it in your salon. So let's get started. Okay, so starting off with the mannequin head, we're going to part this at the very top of the head, the apex. So that's the very top. The way to find it, put your comb there, balance it. Where it starts to move back and forth, that's the apex. And you're going to take this down to the back of the ear on both sides. If you want to use clips, you can do that. I, I'm not going to use those because I want to move through this kind of quickly. And the sections are very, very easy. They're going to pivot. So you're always taking a piece of the top here. So you're done, doing like a pie shape all the way around the head. As you get around the corner of the head, we're now a little flatter. So we're going to actually start moving the hair in that direction. And we get to the, another drop in the head, we start to pivot. So it's a very basic layering technique. Uh, the cool thing about this are the shears that I'm using. I'm using the switchblade shear. And I want to tell you some of the features and benefits behind this amazing tool, the switchblade shears. First of all, you never have to have them sharpened. You just basically switch out the blades. And no tools needed to do that. So the frame has a lifetime guarantee. The frame itself basically is self-aligned. So this is pretty cool and high quality steel. So taking my first section, I'll maybe leave about oh, three to four inches in length and just taking that length off. The, this is a basic layer. It's not going to be a, a, any kind of a haircut uh, as far as a, a named haircut, but it's just gonna have a really fun movable interior texture. Just taking pivoting sections following the shape of the head. So I'm just going to go through right now and check what I've done so far, making sure I'm right where I want to be. And what I'm doing is working just around the curves of the head. So I'm, I'm, the way the hair falls naturally and how it moves out from the head. Just creating a really beautiful rounded shape. I'm not going to be cutting into the actual length. That, that bottom length is going to stay. So I'm just going to take this straight out. There's my little piece at the bottom. Just going to cut up into that. One of the nice things about layering hair, these kinds of shapes, is they have the ultimate in versatility for styling, as opposed to a one length, uh, which has you know just limited styling ability. The movement that a layered cut gives really has uh, more options for a client. So this section is done, not hard to do. Now working into the front area, so I'll be starting at the top again. There's the hair right here. Pulling out, following my guide from the previously cut hair. Now, if I want to create a little more length in the front, even with layers, I could over direct all this hair back to here and cut. But I want to create a, a really ultimate a movement. So I'm going to move all the way forward toward the front of the face as I cut. So again, it's just working around the curves. The shear is giving me just a really nice, clean, but blunt line. And again, you're watching me use these shears, but if you could feel how nicely they go through the hair. It's just really beautiful. There's not a whole lot of effort on my part. I'm just closing the shear, and it's just cutting off the hair beautifully. Going into the front. Now it's starting to get a little bit dry, so I, again, I reach for my blade glide. 
It's a leave-in conditioner. This will extend the life of my shears and this will give you all the nutrients in the hair you need to create a beautiful, clean cut. Now this hair, again, grows toward the front. So I'm not taking the hair back this way to cut. I'm going in that direction. So the way the hair falls naturally, I'm just cutting it. This creates an automatic fringe in the front. And at the very end, we'll do any kind of perimeter cutting and design. And again, you want to comb through, check through the cut. Now I'll sort of just cross-check it, making sure that I'm not over-directed in any way, shape, or form. And here we have the basic layering on the one side. Again, all done with our switchblade shear. Now what I'll do is re-wet with the blade glide and we're going to work our way into the opposite side using the feather razor. And I want to tell you some of the important features and benefits of the Jatai feather razor. First of all, high quality steel. When I'm cutting, the hair will not get clogged in the teeth. Also, you're not going to cut yourself. It's safe for me to use. Easy to hold, very ergonomically designed. The perfect cutting tool you can use in a salon. I'm going to keep it a little more looser in my hand so I can really rotate my wrist, cut backwards, cut in, whatever I want to do, but have a little more versatility. So starting in the top, I know that I already have one side cut. Here's my length on the other side. Now there are a lot of ways to work with the razor uh, right now. Uh, I could take this and I can cut down this way, just cutting through. Um, I could also use it flat, and that's I choose to use it flat right now. I, I don't know if you can see, right there is my the hair I've already cut. Behind that is the length I'll be cutting off. So what I'm going to do is just pull the hair up and out, go right beyond my previously cut hair. The razor goes in, flat, and up. So it's one movement. So you can see how I've cut that hair. So again, now watch, I'm taking the hair up and out. Look at my guideline. The razor goes in and up. So it's just one quick movement and it creates a really great shape. And I'm gonna work around the top here first, holding the hair up and out and cut. Now, if you wanna take this and you wanna really move your hands through it, it's fine. But I find that for the layering, I want a little, little stronger shape. And if I start doing this kind of motion, as I cut up and down, I'm gonna to get too many short to long pieces. What I want is that softer edge that the razor produces compared to the stronger edge that the shear produces. Here's my previously cut hair and the, the razor is going to go in at an angle and just come through. Instead of taking it in this fashion and cutting through, because doing that would actually start making the hair longer as I go down. So I really want to create a pretty precise layer, but using the razor instead of the shear just to soften the edges. Working my way down, this is coming out. Now, I've already pivoted around, and I've gotten the back. Now I'm gonna start working in the top. And I start the same technique. There's really, there's no changing. This is, this is a, the really good thing about, you know, strong hair cutting is, when you're doing the basic shapes, you don't need to continue to change your approach. You get in and you get out with the correct techniques, the shape will develop beautifully. All the innovation is going to come later 
when you can go in with your texturizing techniques. And that's when you start to really start seeing the true artistry of a haircut. And again, it doesn't take much to go through and just feel through the hair. Make sure that you're getting the right balance. Balance is everything. It doesn't have to blend in. It could be a, a cut that has no blending at all, but it balances beautifully when it's all cut and blended in together visually. Now going into the side, same thing now, pulling it out. If you don't see your guide, you don't cut. It's important to see the guideline. So this would be considered my guide. When I pull this hair past that, you can see that anything that meets up to that piece right there gets cut off. So I'm not really losing about almost two and a half inches of hair right here. So I just continually work my way into my guideline. Shake the hair up with your fingers, check through it. If something looks a little long to you, I guarantee you it's too long. At that point, go check, a look, take a look at it. I'm holding it out. And I want to make sure that I'm not over directing the hair back, but it's going straight into the guideline. Now before I go any further, I'm just going to put my hands in here and feel side to side. So now we're going to blow this dry and do the finish work. Here's our mannequin finished. You can see on the right side, this is the switchblade uh, technique. This is the shears, a uh, little stronger shape. It's layered. Now this is not a haircut, it's just a cutting technique. So the layers are giving it a lot of versatility, but it's a lot stronger looking. But as I turn her this way, you start to see the texture in the hair. Now there's no product in it during the blow dry. This is blown dry without anything in the, in the hair, but automatically you get this beautiful diffused texture all from the razor. So two different effects. It's the same sectioning throughout the whole haircut. But what you're getting is a completely different feel to the creative aspect of it. One is a little more controlled, the one other is looser and a little more carefree and organic. So I think you'll, have, you'll find a lot of value in both these techniques. Maybe the same thing on one head. Do, it, uh, do the razor in the top and the shear at the bottom. Be creative, have some fun. Great tools, Jatai Feather Razor and the Switchblade Shear.